Hey guys, Super Retro Kid here. So, I thought I'd make a video about this uh, Vivor 150 watt fume extractor. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say exactly what model. But, um, I thought I'd make a video about this because it's a pretty good fume extractor, but there's a mod that I did. I had, I had watched some other videos. And this guy had modded his, but he didn't say how. So I thought I'd make a video about it showing how. So, so this fume extractor is pretty powerful. It has three different power settings. And the lowest setting is good enough for, like, soldering. Um, you go up to the other settings, it's kind of diminishing returns. But one of the flaws of this... Um, so if you pop this off, there's, like, three different... Uh, layers of filtering and then on the bottom there's a fan that that expels all the air that's why it's on wheels here but uh, stock it uh, has the power button right here and that kind of stings because if you're using this you gotta like climb under your table and hit that power button it's not really something you'd hit with your toe or anything um, so what I did was uh, I knew that you I knew that it was possible because this other guy's got a video where he had rigged a button up here. So what I did was I did this little project box here. So um, when you take the bottom off, which I'm not gonna do, and if and I'll link to the other guy's video because the other guy's video he does take it off. There's a little circuit board in there that controls all the power stuff. And there's like, there's a ground and then there's AC coming from the wall. And then there's another connector doing uh, the power to the blower inside. And then there is a power button. And that's why I have this piece of paper here. Um, so the power button is like a momentary power button, but it's got like four legs. So I'm just gonna draw four legs. And then it's got, it's like that. And then it's got a little momentary push button on the middle. And when you push that in, which is on the side there, it'll go between the three different settings. And then the fourth time you push it, it'll go back to off. Well, so this, so on that circuit board, if you look at the traces, there's actually, it's not doing anything with the four. The four are just to reinforce the component to make sure it doesn't fall out. It's actually, the traces are just two traces that uh, it just bridges across when you do four or when you push down on it. So really all that you gotta do is remove this button and then hook a wire up to each side of this. <laughs> and then when you touch those two wires, it's gonna be a momentary on, and that's gonna activate this, uh, this uh, fume extractor. So well, another interesting thing about this is, and I thought about doing this because uh, when you are on the low setting, it sucks pretty good and it's not that loud. It's like, like in the other guy's review that I'll link to, he considers it like good enough for soldering. So like what you could do is you could just bridge these two with, with solder or like one little wire. And then you could get like a remote controlled outlet plug. You know, like I have, I have like these guys. So like this guy turns my Xbox sign on and off. And it does it like at the outlet and you could just get one of these you could just you could just bridge these two and then get one of those and then it would always turn on to the lowest setting but you'd have no way to get to the other two settings but that's maybe not a bad way to go so then what I ended up doing was I connected I soldered a wire, I soldered this wire across these two and uh, across these two and then I soldered the other wire across these two and I soldered it really good 
on both places and made sure there wasn't any extra cable. And then I took electrical tape and covered it up. And then I put the bottom back on and I fed the cables up along the side. So you see where it's blinking there? That just means that it's getting power from the wall. And then what I did on the top, the top comes off easily because there's so that you can change your filters. So then I just ran it into the top and then I ran it through the tube. And then the tube has the, this part is just like a little stretchy part that you can take on and off. And I just ran the cables out there. And then I just connected each side to this momentary switch. So I just went to Ace Hardware. And this is basically like just a little electrical box. And then I got this red piece of plastic that I took off of uh, some stuff I had laying around. So I drilled, uh, I cut out this red piece to get like a flat piece. And then I uh, have it going through here and here. And then inside I just have each side of, each side of the wire, or of each wire going to one of the poles of the switch. And you want to make sure that you get a momentary, uh, you want to get a, um, a normally off switch, not a normally on. Because then a uh, normally off switch, every time you push it, it'll act, it'll, it'll close the circuit and activate it. Then on the bottom, I just did some electrical tape so it doesn't like scuff up my desk. But now what this allows me to do is instead of digging down here, I'm able to just hit this button up here and that's going to activate. So that just activated the lowest setting. So you see down here, it goes green. And then you hit again, you have the medium setting, blue, then you have the top setting, red, and then if you hit again, you're off. And the guy who did the mod in the other video, he had this awesome like hose clamp where he had a button. Uh, that's pretty cool. The other thing that I was thinking would be really cool is I saw on eBay you can get some like uh, pedal switches. So you could just run the cable out right there and then have a little foot uh, switch to hit. And that'd be a pretty awesome way to do this. So that's really all that's to it, or all there is to it. Uh, I, uh, oh, I suppose I could show you too. Um, it might take a little while, but yeah, maybe it's not worth it because he does it in his video. But it does suck up very well too. Um, I can probably get to, I can probably be about this far away with it just sucking everything up, even on its lowest setting. So it works, it seems to work pretty awesome. Uh, it's, it gets, it's loud though. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd show how to do this mod, uh, cause it's, it definitely makes this thing cooler, you know. But yeah, this is uh, Super Ristricade. Thanks for watching.